most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. We're usually the last ones to see our leaves go from green to those bright autumn colors and usually doesn't happen until close to the end of the month. Sometimes it could be November if we stay warm into, into October. But on the other side of the state, things change a lot differently just because of the mountains, the elevation and the temperature change as you head up the mountains. If you just can't wait any longer or maybe you want to go before it gets really crowded right now, but 5,000 feet, there is some OK color. It's nothing great, but especially the Mount Mitchell area, Blue Ridge Parkway, the sections that get a little bit Bit higher. That's where you start to find some signs that colors are changing a little bit. So improvement, but next couple of weekends as we head throughout October, especially, you know, uh, October 9th through the following weekend, maybe your best bet to find some of that really nice color. If you're traveling northward, it's been a slow start across New England over to New, uh, Vermont, New York, but still getting some reports of about moderate color and very small doses across the Adirondacks, portions of the uh, white Green Mountains there in New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine also showing a little bit of color. Really, you've got to find the bright colors. You've got to go to portions of uh, Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, Wisconsin, and then over into the Rockies, Sierras, the high elevations where some of those aspen trees are changing. For us, it's just feeling like fall, but maybe not translating to that. When you look outside and see the green grass, you see leaves that look still pretty much dark green, though there are some spots that maybe have changed to a lighter green rather than the dark green we usually get during the summer months. Temperatures continue to be mainly in the 60s this evening, not going to fall too far. Some spots could wake up in the 50s, but most of us going to be uh, feeling about the same across the area, whether you're at the coast or you're further inland. That breeze expected to continue the next couple of days and going to be a couple days before we get back into the 80s, maybe by the weekend in some spots, most of us right there in the upper 70s, and then we start to get back to and maybe a little bit above average as we head into next week with a lot more sunshine in the forecast for next week versus what we've seen uh, so far this week. Cloud cover increasing showers and thunder, not really thunderstorms, but just showers, mist and drizzle from Edenton, Plymouth, Columbia, all very light stuff, but enough that you may need the rain jacket or maybe need the umbrella. If you're going to be outside, definitely need probably the windshield wipers if you're driving down the highway. Most of the heavier showers stay right across the Outer Banks, maybe Deer Hyde County, portions of Pamlico over towards Carteret County, but most of the data like today continues to paint those heavier bands of rain staying just offshore and occasionally providing some maybe heavier rain to other spots, but would not be surprised to see no one reach a quarter of an inch over the next 24 to 48 hours. That's how light most of the rain is expected to be. Philippe continues to move west, weakening. Same thing for Rena. Even if it does become a named system, the future doesn't look too bright for it as it's just not a good area right now for tropical development. High pressure blocking the way that will start to move out of the way, but replacing it is this low pressure system that comes out of the Great Lakes as it slides down to the southwest. Kind of like Ophelia may develop off the coast of Florida, and uh, that would just, just be an area of development we'll have to watch for. Right now, nothing kind of on the uh, radar for the National Hurricane Center besides that we know the window could open for maybe a little bit of development. Tomorrow, cloud cover, cool weather, breezy north winds, sunshine tries to return by football Friday evening. Could be a day where it's cloudy at the start, but by the afternoon evening, we start to see some sunshine and then more sunshine expected through the weekend into next week with highs warmer, but not, you know, too much warmer. Mm -hmm. Still in the 80s, low 80s, and humidity shouldn't be too high.